Questions 71 through 73 refer to the following advertisement. Are you looking to get in shape? True Fitness now has several locations in your area. We have everything you need to keep fit, including exercise classes and fitness instructors ready to help you. But that's not all. Starting in June, your membership gives you access to any of our locations across the country. So, if you're traveling for business or just on vacation, you won't have to skip your workout routine. Visit our website to see a map of all the true fitness locations across the country. Number 71. What type of business is being advertised? Number 72. What will the listeners be able to do starting in June? Number 73. Why does the speaker invite the listeners to visit a website? Questions 74 through 76 refer to the following excerpt from a meeting. One last thing before we wrap this up. I want to personally thank everyone for the extra hours you've put in getting our new line of kitchen accessories ready for market. Because of your willingness to work overtime, the new products will be ready for the trade show coming up next month in Baltimore. That's in addition to the accessories we usually display, but it shouldn't be a problem. We've reserved a booth at the front of the convention center this year, and it's a large space. Number 74. Why does the speaker thank the listeners? Number 75. According to the speaker, what is scheduled for next month? Number 76. What does the speaker imply when she says, It's a large space? Questions 77 through 79 refer to the following talk. Welcome to Dario's. My name is Greg and I'll be your server tonight. Since this is your first time here, let me tell you about our restaurant. All the ingredients used in the menu items you see come from local producers and artisans. In fact, Robert, the owner of the restaurant, is a passionate gardener who grows our fresh produce himself on our rooftop garden. Now, tonight we have a special entree grilled lamb chops served with roasted potatoes and a fava bean puree. I order it every time I dine here. So, while you read over the menu, can I get you something from the bar? Number 77. According to the speaker, what is special about the restaurant? Number 78. Who is Robert? Number 79. Why does the speaker say, I order it every time I dine here. Questions 80 through 82 refer to the following announcement. Welcome aboard Flight 838 with non stop service to Casper. We thank you for choosing Rocky Mountain Air and look forward to flying with you today. Unfortunately, we've run out of space in the overhead bins for larger carry on bags. If your bag won't fit under the seat in front of you, we'll take it from you and check it. You'll be able to claim it at the baggage carousel when we land. In addition, we have several in flight entertainment options today. Our standard programs are listed in the magazine in the seat pocket in front of you. If you would like a complimentary headset, please notify a flight attendant. Number 80. Where is the announcement being made?
Number 81. What problem does the speaker mention? Number 82. According to the speaker, why should the listeners talk with a staff member? Questions 83 through 85 refer to the following telephone message. Hello, it's Melanie, one of the drivers. I'm delivering these flat screen televisions to our electronic superstores in Des Moines. I've been looking for one of the branches, and according to the list I was given, there should be a store at 2313 West McLean Avenue. Well, I've driven up and down McLean, and it's nothing but residences. So I'll go ahead and make the other deliveries on my list, but while I'm doing that, could you please get back to me with the correct address? Number 83. Who is the speaker? Number 84. What does the company sell? Number 85. What does the speaker imply when she says, It's nothing but residences? Questions 86 through 88 refer to the following talk. Good morning. My name is Wesley Hampton, and I'll be leading the training session on how to use our company's new office security system, SimpliSafe. The reason we chose this particular system is because it makes it easy for employees and authorized visitors to access the building. It also acts as a deterrent against unwanted intruders. And best of all, there's a customer service helpline available 24 hours a day. This will allow for quick response times to any security breach. Number 86. What is the talk mainly about? Number 87. Why did the company choose the product? Number 88. What does the speaker say is offered with the product? Questions 89 through 91 refer to the following broadcast. This is Valerie Chapman with KSA TV Dateline Austin, tonight's top story. As work continues on the massive Austin Metro light rail construction project, the announcement of new federal safety regulations means that major modifications must be made to the tracks. Opening day could be delayed by as much as six weeks. Public opinion about Austin Metro is already divided. Some residents say they don't approve of how much money is being spent on the light rail project, but others say it's worth the cost. I'm here at the Fifth Street Station, where I'll ask a few passers by how they feel about this latest development in the project. Number 89. What does the speaker say has recently been announced? Number 90. According to the speaker, why do some people dislike the construction project? Number 91. What will the speaker do next? Questions 92 through 94 refer to the following announcement. Before we get started, I know you all have busy lives outside of work, so thanks for coming into the warehouse today to work on a Saturday. Okay, so we're here because this major shipment was delivered yesterday. There are hundreds of items inside these boxes, and we have to categorize them and put the information into our warehouse inventory database. Now, I'm going to split you all into teams. Once you have your assignment, go ahead and join your team members. 
Team leaders will tell you which boxes you'll be working on. Number 92. What does the speaker thank the listeners for? Number 93. In which division do the listeners most likely work? Number 94. What does the speaker say he will provide? Questions 95 through 97 refer to the following news report and weather forecast. And now it's that time of year. Time for an event we've all been waiting for Behringer's annual cook off. Held outside at Golden Crest Park, the cook off always attracts a lot of participants. Competitors prepare one dish, which they serve throughout the day. A panel of judges will select the winners based on taste, presentation, and uniqueness. This event is great fun for the whole family, and entry and food samples are free. If you're interested in participating, the contest registration form is available on the city's website. Now, keep in mind we're expecting cool temperatures for this year's event. We won't see any sunshine, so be sure to bring your jacket. Number 95. What event is being described? Number 96. According to the speaker, what can the listeners find on a website? Number 97. Look at the graphic. Which day is the event being held? Questions 98 through 100 refer to the following telephone message and conference schedule. This is Jason Inverness from Inverness Financial. We met last month at the California Tech Summit. I attended your interesting presentation and spoke to you afterward about my small software development firm. I'm calling because I'd like to hire you to discuss ways to make my company's database more user friendly. I know you specialize in this type of work, and I'm hoping you'll be interested in this project. Could you please email me a list of your consultant fees? Use the email address on the business card I gave you. Thanks. Number 98. What is the purpose of the call? Number 99. Look at the graphic. Who is the speaker calling? Number 100. What does the speaker ask the listener to do? This is the end of the listening test.